wish you all a happy feast of St. Thomas. St. Thomas is one of, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ and he came to India in first century itself and proclaimed the word of God to the Indians. And Indian church is proclaimed the same faith of St. Thomas after 2000 years. Jesus told St. Thomas that blessed you have, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Many times I feel that we are doubting Thomas. We doubt our own tradition, our own beliefs. We say something and go after something. But in this era of social media and a global village, the challenges are new. We can't go by the traditional way of looking at the things. Or we can't live in the first century or 16th century. Or we can't blame the Portuguese or Jesuits now. On this feast of Dukhraina, we have to think about the unification of ourselves. Now, there are seven churches claim the Marthoma tradition, that's a Siro Malabar church. Zero Malagra Church, both are in Catholic faith, and Church of East India, Jacobite, Syrian Christian Church, and Malang Malangara Orthodox Syrian Church. That's Orthodox Church. Then Marthoma Syrian Church, and Malabar Independent Syrian Church. There are many reasons for this split. We can't change the history. We have to look at the new realities of 21st century. We are facing challenges from inside and outside. From inside of the church, theological and new age churches and uh, pose a great threat to apostolic churches in India. From outside, hostile other religions and political atmosphere here in India, it's almost impossible for St. Thomas Christians to carry our message, the gospel of Jesus to others. So, it's a high time to think about unification of church and say we are all have the same faith which St. Thomas took to India. Once again, I wish you all a happy feast of